Hi, I'm, I'm Rand Anderson from MuFX, and we're the proud makers of the TruTron 3 and the Octave Fighter. And we're here at NAMM 2016, and I'd like to introduce our newest creation, the Boostron 3. It retains that classic Lutron sort of look in, a, in our new uh, third generation enclosure. And it has a multitude of, of purposes. It's sort of a Swiss Army knife. So it's got three discrete gain stages, and they all do a sort of different thing. The first gain stage is, is a circuit derived from the classic Olympic Strata Blaster, which was a, a preamp sort of thing installed in your guitar jack and a Stratocaster in the 70s to help single coils blossom with the highs and the ends, uh, the low end and the high end. Uh, it is engaged by a switch, and I find that it sounds so good you tend to leave it on all the time. No more changing the 9 volt batteries in your guitar jack. You can just have it here. It also, we've improved the circuit and added a bright switch. So when you think of an old black face fender amp and you think of an on and off, we wanted to be able to give you a more continual sort of spectrum to dial that high in. It also acts as an onboard effects buffer. So if you have a long cable going to your guitar, it'll help recover from the capacitance. Next is a side chain effects send. So you can use the blaster to drive your vintage effects and your other effects to give them a little bit more signal where they're happy. It comes back, returns back into the unit pre-compressor. Now this compressor is the classic Dan Armstrong orange squeezer. Um, that was another sort of small unit which you attached into the jack of your guitar. It was hard to change settings and the batteries would die. But it was used on very many classic recordings. It's a great studio tool. Uh, Sultans of Swing from Dire Straits. A lot of the Doobie Brothers and the Steely Dan's guitar players would have used this. Once again, those trim pots were inside the unit, so you'd have to change them. But this controls the squash, and this controls the level of the output. What's also nice to note about the horn squeezer is that's post effects return. So if you have an unruly vintage effect that comes back too hot, this will help you tame that. The final stage is the slacker. So this is basically a multi-mode distortion rat type of LM308 op amp distortion that gives you three different voicings. A mellow kind of tube screamer overdrive, a clipping effect, and then straight out heavy fuzz distortion. It also has an EQ setting for low pass and uh, low cut filters, gain and level to dial in just the right amount. So that's the pedal. I'm going to go ahead and play through a few of the sets. I have it here on my floorboard along with a couple of our other favorite pedals, our Trutron 3X and our Octave Divider. So right now, all I have going on is the blaster is engaged. I put the boost around four and a half and I have the bright around three. That's why I like it. And I find it just gives me a lot of bright definition to the guitar, good string separation, and a lot of dynamic control I can get out of my picking. I'll go ahead and engage the, the next unit here. This is the orange squeezer. notice about this compressor is how quiet it is. It's, it's at its highest setting and there's no hiss, there's no sucking like you get out of most compressors. And it's really nice for raking and country music. Now I'll turn that off and I'm going to go ahead and engage our slacker unit. setting and now I'm going to switch over to our distortion setting much more higher gain
another useful part of this pedal is is running my other pedals in the effects loop. So I'm coming into the Boostron 3, I go out of the effects send, and I come into the octave divider, and then into the Trutron, and then back in. So it's going to put a more optimized signal into my octave divider. So you'll notice if I turn it off, I have to pick a little harder with this particular guitar. I also lose a lot of my high end definition. So that blaster will help me poke my guitar through. I call this the, the Mutron sandwich. And it's kind of a hotter signal than I desire. So what I can do is now turn on my compressor. And the sound guy loves me. I get that sustain from the compressor. So that's a quick look at the Boostron 3. I hope you come and enjoy it. Check it out whether you play country music, funk music, R&B, rock and roll, heavy metal. This pedal's for you. This is a guitar player pedal.